Hey everyone, this is Kim and welcome back to another Cote Bagheera Bajoju review. Um, this is the third statue that we received in the post just the other day there. Um, I'm probably a little bit late to the party since it seems most people are going for the faster shipping from Japan. Um, but I'm, I'm quite happy to wait so yeah, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you are a past viewer then welcome back, it's, it's nice to see you've seen, well, I can't see you seeing my, my videos but welcome back. Um, I like to put a disclaimer out here um, because I keep forgetting to do this uh, with the whole COPPA situation that's, that's now come into force. Um, I'd like to state that this video is intended for people over the age of 13 this collectible series is and is stated on the actual box that it is for people aged 15 and over. So this is more for adult collectors, this is not for children in any way, shape or form. Um, but let me just get into this. Uh, so this is Mary Marvel uh, from the Shazam family. Um, her statue is based off of the art of Shani Yamashita and produced by Kota Kia. She is 215 millimetres from the base and she's sculpted by James Marsano. So who is Mary Marvel? Well, um, she is known as a uh, Mary Bromfield, um, also uh, Bath Bastion I think it was. Um, and she was first seen in number 18 of Captain Marvel and then she was reintroduced in the comics later on um, in the power of Shazam. And, uh, I can't even read my own man right. She's basically reintroduced again later in the Power of Shazam series in the 90s. Um, well, she's not a big name character, um, a lot of the, the collectors within our community are really appreciative of Kota Bukia for doing a lesser known character, um, even though she, she is a little bit more known now with, the, with her appearance in the Shazam uh, movie that was out last year. Um, so the character was created by Otto Binder and Mark Swayze, Swayze? Swayze, and it was originally drawn to actually look like Judy Garland uh, back when she first appeared in the comics. Um, I don't know much about this character um, myself, so I've, I've got like limited information here on her. So we'll, we'll just go into the figure itself. So I've got her with the box at the moment. So, typical Bajoju box, a nice shot of uh, Shani Yamashita's illustration. Um, they've redone the packaging of late because um, they have hit their 10 year anniversary. So, yay, 10 years. Um, and they had a, an event, a few events last year just to commemorate that. So, let me just take the box out the way. Um, I've got a comparison figure to bring in later on. I did remember to bring it downstairs this time, so let me just shoogle this over. So there we go. Let me just turn this down a little bit. So here we have Mary Marvel. Her um, her announcement last year was at Toy Fair, I believe. Um, was a big surprise. Um, as I said earlier, she's not a, a big name character. Uh, so. I, I didn't know much about her, but we knew she was going to be in the upcoming Shazam movie anyway, or depicted in some form in the Shazam movie. Uh, first of all, when I, I saw her, her pose was extremely reminiscent of um, I was say, uh, Kitty Pride, one of the older Bajoju pieces. Sorry, I'm just adjusting this as I go, because it's just... I obviously did the wrong thing by picking a black background, so I'll just turn that down there. So she has a, a very dynamic base, it is on another circular disc, but she has the kind of BAM transformations, Shazam pop just in the background, um, so she's got, as you can see it says Shazam. Uh, this is um, it's PVC as well, quite solid PVC, it is, isn't solid at the back anyway. Um, so if it was, I, I feel that might have been like a balancing issue, but see these bits here? They are so sharp, it's ridiculous. Like, see with the uh, Scarlet statue, she also has the same issue of you could <laughs> you could do some serious damage. So uh, thanks to Pete from the group for warning me in advance about this one. Um, my husband actually was the one I didn't tell about it and he got a nice jab in the fingers. Um, so the statue itself is, is full of 
movement, our cape's flowing, our hair's also flowing. She's in a ready to go pose, but also with a little cheeky wink, which is quite nice. Um, our costume is our classic costume, the red one. But I know that some others would really love to see like a black variant or my husband would actually like to see a white variant. Uh, she has some really nice yellow boots. So thigh high boots. She does have, for those who like the pantsuit shots, she does have little red knickers on under there. But, um, the face is really cute. I have one major issue and it's not my camera that's picking up, but it is in, in person as well. If you <laughs> ever, as a teenager, when you, for anyone that has worn foundation, picked up like, the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse and what you thought was your shade. So in my case, when I was younger, Ivory was the lightest shade that I could buy at the time. It, it turned out really orange and I have noticed this without the light on her that her face is really orange in person like it's it's darker than her arms and her legs and it's really annoying um, I, I hope I'm not the only one that notices this but it's definitely not my camera like I could have the, the, it up full a bit more than this and it would still look a different colour so it's a bit disappointing that there is that tonal difference between the rest of the body and her face. That is that is my biggest gripe. Um, other than uh, <laughs> everybody wants like detailed bases, and I totally get it. But I'm I'm at the stage where my DC shelf is full. Um, if I can remember, I will put a little um, photo here of what it is currently with Mary involved. Um, I don't know where Ivy's going to go when she arrives at the start of March. But, um, sorry, back onto the figure itself. Um, running theme here of gold in the base, in the Shazam lettering, in the trim on the the dress at the, sorry, at the trim and at the cuffs. Uh, also at the neck, and she's got a gold belt, the gold Shazam symbol, gold um, bracers, and gold trim on a, a really nice white cloak. It's, it's a nice contrast there. The hair has uh, some tonal changes as well. Um, it is picking up on my screen at the moment, so you can see it here. Um, just getting darker here. I've forgotten the name of the little flick. Um, I did look it up before, but Shunya Yamashita is very well known for adding these, and it is quite common in an anime figure as well, and in the comics, not come in the manga, and in like the anime shows. Yeah, overall, I do like her. I don't know anything about her. I bought her because I just bought her. <laughs> I need to really go back to being a bit more strict with my, my purchases, um, considering the amount I've actually got pre-ordered for this year already. Uh, but yeah, really nice figure. If you love this character, do pick her up. I, I hope I'm not the only one with this, this weird tone to the face. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just mine. I don't know if anybody else has seen it. Uh, I would say for a point here, she is on one of these uh, kind of pegs. I, I, she might cause some leaning issues for people in warmer climates, maybe later on down the line, but it is really sturdy, um, unlike the um, ponies that I've, I've shown recently. Um, but I did bring a figure down just as a comparison. So let me just sort that out there. Um, so I thought, as I said earlier, when I first saw her, that she was very much pose-like to uh, Kitty. Uh, Kitty is on a higher base. I just want to note from the get-go, I believe they are about the same, about the same scale. Maybe Mary's just a smidge shorter. Let me see. I can't really bring them up very far. Yeah, Mary's just a smidge and shorter, but the the poses are the same. Um, I just wanted to highlight that. That was just me. Um, somebody said there's also a little bit of like a She-Hulk pose with the arms anyway in there. Overall cute character. If you love her, get her. If you're not fussed, then you know, just, you don't bother. Um, <laughs> it's entirely up to you at the end of the day. Um, I don't have that much to say about her, so I'm going to wrap this up as quickly as I can. 
uh, if you collect the line, uh, be sh you can join us on our Facebook group, links in the description below. If you don't have Facebook, we also have an Instagram account that's also in the link below. And I do have a website which is used as like a database and an information site for collectors, um, just regarding conventions, uh, reliable retailers, etc. Um, that site's due to be renewed again, so I'll keep it up for another year. If you have any questions or just want to chat, feel free to leave a comment. If you've got any feedback, do leave some in the comments. I'm, I'm more than happy to take some criticism on my videos. It's, it's something I'm still working on. Yes, the backdrop now needs uh, still needs ironed. I'll need to chase it up at some point, but that's either either bleh, neither here nor there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you do like my videos, please hit, hit the subscribe button. Also, the like button would be greatly appreciated. And my next video will be Ivy. I will should have her at the start of March at some point, and I'll get her for you up then. Um, so yeah, see you later, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.